There's been some changes in the regulation recently in Sweden. They have tightened it up a lot for the operators. I'd like to hear a little bit about your opinion in general. Like, how is this affecting Betson and what do you think about the changes? A few proposed changes that are, um, to some degree, still being debated where, where there are limitations uh, within, within the regular frameworks for those operators and I think we speak a lot about the canalization in Sweden and for a re- regulation to be successful it requires that the canalization is very very good on a certain level and I think the regulators have set out to to achieve 90% canalization in Sweden. What we see now is not the case. Canalization is estimated on on in particular on the casino side to be closer to 70%. That means that players are already today playing outside the regulation and that's uh, of course not what the regulator want to achieve it's not good for for the companies that are regulated and do follow the regulation so it's important that the measurements that are happening are not being contraproductive and uh, push even more players outside the the regulated framework and i think uh, that is at risk 